everybody welcome back this is we're gonna do week two I'm gonna just do another quick garden tour starting here at the front porch um, these are our wicken barrels everything's looking pretty good my ginger's not up yet I do have some radishes going to seed I'm gonna let produce some seed for me for next year I do have there is a little pepper on here let's see if we can see him there he is hiding little poblano I do have some jalapenos tucked down in this one. Got my mint here is going well. I believe that's the apple mint. That barrel, my ginger's not up yet, but the little carrot's still chugging along there. He's trying his best. My zinnias, the Nanking cherry, the watermelon is taking off. It is getting big. It's starting to. Go ahead and come down our little ramp here to get to the ground. Oh, these are the little guys we found that volunteered in the yard that we transplanted. There's actually three of them, and they are doing great. My oregano, of course. All right, over here we got our mums. Got some lemon basil that's come up with the mums. And then with the chives or wild garlic or whatever that is, Audrey brought home. Our big rock bed. It's still doing all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our spearmint here is doing lovely. I think I need to go ahead and collect some. The Roma's, Roma tomatoes, which has quite a few tomatoes on there. Then I have a banana pepper. And it's got, it's got a couple little peppers on there. Then we have a Better Boy tomato. And then I have Brandywine Red, which is getting... It's got a few here as well. One of our zucchinis, which is looking pretty bad, but I'm going to trim some leaves out and spray it down. Try and get that under control. The new leaves are looking good. Our sun sugar tomato, which is looking horrible. So I'm going to have to deal with that this week as well. But it's still, I mean, it's putting out tomatoes for me. Oh, uh, let's see. This one, I believe, is delicious tomato. It was a new one the girls picked this year. We're trying. And then our bell peppers are getting massive and there's a jalapeno in with that one then we have a chocolate cherry tomato um, another zucchini which doesn't look quite as terrible as my other one but <clears throat> it's trying we have trouble every year with squash anything in the squash family if it doesn't get hit with the powdery mildew really bad we get the squash vine borers but we're trying uh, well that one's my lime tree Got the eggplant here, and it actually, this is the Ichiban, Ichiban, I don't know how you say that. The Japanese eggplant, it has several eggplant with on it, and it's loaded with blooms. Another Roma. My Sweet 100s, which it's about as tall as I am now on the trellis. Uh, Lantana, and then the Indigo Rose, which is probably doing the best out of almost all my tomatoes right now. And my lemon tree. Alright, now we're up here at the front. On the other side of the, we're going to call this the blueberry trellis, I guess. It's got blueberries in that bed on the other side. And on this one is my potatoes and a couple of peppers. My potatoes have started to be weird. This one looks absolutely horrible. I'm not familiar with potatoes very well. I don't tend to have the best luck. But if anybody knows why on earth they went from beautiful to all of a sudden they're looking really really bad please comment below and let me know another pepper garlic another tub of potatoes garlic shallots and some chives and then Audrey's little blueberry bush that's not in the ground yet more garlic uh, the back side of my new rock bed up front here I have those calendula seeds I put in and they are starting to sprout all up. Haven't seen any of the dill come up yet, but the calendula is popping up everywhere. It's great. I'm excited. And then I have my tubs here in front. My basil's doing okay. It's starting to go to flower, so I need to pinch the tops off of that and see if I can buy me some more time. A couple of little seedlings coming up in here. My other, my Thai basil. This is Audrey's little planter. It's doing well. She's got a couple tomatoes she needs to come pick off of her tiny Tim. Got some lettuce down there. Some of it's already bolting. Just got big enough to eat. 
that's all right. Um, oh, Audrey's other little planter with her snow peas. She's got she's got a good couple good ones on there. She needs to come get. And there's a couple ground cherries volunteered. Uh, still haven't had time to mess much with this green stalk. I've just let the snapdragons go crazy. I got a couple of cabbages in there that are trying to decide whether they want to bolt or whether they want to actually make a head. It's getting really hot here during the day. So, got a little bitty cilantro over there that's already, it's not six inches tall and it's decided to bolt. So, we'll see. Then we're around the side. Our first trellis here. Our beans, our peas are doing awesome. They are looking wonderful. They're up past the trellis for most of them. Um, I'm coming out most mornings and getting at least a handful or two. Excuse me. All the gnats are getting me today. But yeah, it's doing, we're getting lots of stuff off of them. It's great. And then on the trellis over the arch over here to my right, Audrey's kiwi is doing good. It's seems to be doing pretty well. And then my little boys and berries down here, they're, they're not shooting up real fast, but they're holding their own. So hopefully they'll get a little more established this year. I said most of this trellis is beans and peas. I do have a couple of um, yellow squash and patty pan squash shoved in here. They are blooming like crazy. So hopefully we get some good stuff off of them this year. Mint, mint, <laughs> stevia and another mint. My second arch back here is more beans. For right now my eggplants are up here. They've The Casper eggplants have started to bloom. And the Black Beauty, I think, is starting to form a bloom as well. Uh, just lots of beans. And then we planted, I've got one Santa Claus melon coming up that I planted. And we have, these are Italian rib zucchini, they're all coming up. I had a second loofah plant pop up, which is excellent. On the other side of the arch, the onions are looking decent. Um, the okra, I don't know how well you can see. The okra is starting to come up. They're probably about three inches tall or so right now. So they should start suiting, shooting up pretty fast. They actually, you always feel like they're so slow in the beginning and then all of a sudden they're two feet tall. So, and they grow, keep growing that fast. So they should be doing good. Back over there is our experimental potatoes. Let me take you up there and show you those. Here's our experimental potato patch. Daniel cut the yard this week, so he dumped some of the grass clippings on here to mulch them up. But they are coming up. They are, seem to be loving it. So hopefully these do really well for us. On my fig, it is absolutely loaded with figs this year. I really am excited. I love figs. All right, we're here in the backyard. The squash back here are doing pretty well. They don't seem to be have been hit with the powdery mildew or anything like that yet. Some of them are mysteries. Like I said, I won't know till they start putting some fruit on. A couple of yellow squash. Um, strawberry tower still doing good. Squirrels and chipmunks, I think, are beating me to some of the strawberries, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, don't mind sharing some. Cucumbers back here are getting nice and big. I'm going to finish out adding some extra trellising here for them. So once they're about to the point where I'm going to need something for them. They're doing really well. The zippers are all about at the bottom of the trellis now. So they should start climbing real soon. Then we have the aquaponics. Things are finally starting to clear up a little bit in here. I do need to find my iron because I've definitely got some chlorosis going on. Little Swiss chard here in the front. I have a kale. Another tiny Tim tomato here. Oh, that's Audrey's favorite variety. Um, I do have a few strawberries left in here. I've been slowly weeding them out. These are probably three or four year old plants and they're just not really producing. And then that mass of green back there, that's celery. Celery absolutely loves aquaponics because it likes its feet wet. So they are doing excellent. The new addition's doing good. 
the green onions are all popping up and I noticed today you can just see I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera you can just see the ginger starting to poke a, a sprout out which is awesome and then up top on the aquaponic upper bed I have peppers the giant Marconis they're doing great I got a couple of big ones on there the Anaheim I have a nice big one far side I believe I have a little like the little sweet snacking ones that are red I have some green onions and another Swiss chard tucked up in here they usually do pretty well in the aquaponics and a pimento pepper it's only got one on it so far but it's a nice good size I don't know I'll be able to see my fish at all through the glare this upper tank has bluegill uh, copper nose bluegill that I stocked it with when we probably a few years ago now we had uh, harvested most of these out but a few escaped the net sorry everybody battery died right in the middle of that we're up front Audrey came out to help me she's up here she just realized her tiny Tim had some tomatoes ready to harvest so she's of course they don't ever make it in the house so <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Bye bye.